Alright guys, and today I'm going to be showing you guys PvP tricks, or just tips, because a lot of you guys have been recommending this, and I don't know why, because I'm actually trash at PvP. If any of you guys have seen me in game, you should know that. But here we go. So the first one is you have to aim at your target, like actually aim at their avatar. It might seem weird, like the bullet spread, because it'll aim away from their avatar, but if you do aim, you should hit them, unless they're really far away. You might have to aim like around them. But other than that, you should be good if you just aim at their avatar. And another one is, if you're going to go into a huge gun battle, or like you're going to be jumping and running a lot, you should have auto run on, like I do right now. So you don't have to hold shift and W, um, ASD, whatever. So you're just automatically running, and then you can jump whenever you want to and stuff. And the next one is, if you guys know, when you're in queue, let me stop auto run. When you're in queue and you're aiming, you can't run like this. Like, it's just impossible. So you have to go back out of queue, and then you can run. But you're still holding your right your right click. So to stop that, you want to go into Q, hold ESC, and then go to Q again. And now you don't have to hold that, and then you can run. And you can do that with the auto run too. So now you're aiming and you're running. So this will help your accuracy, and you can run at the same time. So that's pretty helpful. Alright, and this next one is if you're going to go inside of a bloodbath or something, you don't want to use Q in a bloodbath. Literally, it's going to be so hard for you to turn around your camera and stuff if you're getting shot at from behind. When if you're like this, you could easily just turn around and shoot your other target. So don't use Q in very close range combat. Or if you're shooting somebody out of the air, you could use Q and stuff. Mostly use Q for air combat and just shooting people out of the air and stuff. I don't recommend it in close range battles. And go first person if you're a good first person shooter. Like if you play Arsenal or Phantom Forces a lot, then you should be pretty good in first person. So I recommend using that. It's mostly just use whatever you're comfortable with. But if you don't use Q in first person, you have a lot more... Like, you'd shoot more easily. Like, you're more free in your camera. Because it's hard to explain, but if you're not using first person or Q, you can move your mouse around in different places that you can't if you're in those other combat modes. If that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. And another common mistake people make in the larger state is joining clans to better themselves. Now, yes, joining clans can actually benefit your PvP and your aiming and stuff. But don't do it. Just clans is a very bad thing to get into. I can't say this enough. I've said it in one of my videos, and I feel like it needs to be addressed again. Do not get into clans. It's not a good thing to get into in a lecture state. One, it's a very toxic thing. Two, you're going to be hated depending on what clan you get into. And three, it's just a bad thing all around. If you get into one, then you're going to understand immediately within the, like the first two days of it, and you're probably going to want to leave. But do not stay in the clans and do not get into them. There's m many aiming games that you could train by yourself and get better by yourself. So don't get into clans. And then uh, for this next one, I actually proved in my myth busting video if aiming does give you more accuracy like this rather than just shooting. And it does in fact. It's actually way more accurate if you do aim and shoot at the same time. I did this in the myth busting video. If you want to go look at that, it'll show you the examples. And the next one is you have to be aware of your surroundings at all times because you never know when something's going to come or something's going to happen. Because I find myself in scenarios all the time where there's people shooting at me or I'm shooting at somebody and then their friend comes behind me or something or like a clan will attack you. So you have to be aware at all times because usually if you shoot somebody, their friend has their back. So just be aware of everything that's around you when you're shooting and when you're red-named. And yeah, it's, that's a pretty big one. 